Hi friends. So today I thought I would share with you a fun, simple, and easy jam recipe. It really only requires three ingredients, which I, all of us would have. Um, you just need some berries. You could do raspberries, blackberries, strawberries, and blueberries. You could do all of them, or you could just do one. I have strawberries today. Um, you'll just need some sugar, some salt, lemon, and a saucepan, and that's about it. So let's jump right into making the jam. So to start off, I have some strawberries cut up, and we're gonna cut up some more. And then we will put it into a little Ziploc baggie. And this is, this would be like a fun sensory experience. So, I mean, we'll just drop our strawberries in there. Or you could put it right into your saucepan, which will be on medium heat. And let's get mashing. So I've got my Ziploc baggie full of my cut up strawberries. They're about into quarters and whatnot. Um, so let's get us smashing with it. Here, strawberries. I also have this little thing that I found in my drawer to help smash up them strawberries. Could also, I think you could also use measuring cup. That might also work to help smush them down. So while we're smushing our strawberries, our stove is on medium heat with our saucepan. And then after these are all smushed up, we'll transfer the strawberries to the saucepan and then we'll put in all the other ingredients make our jam okay so let's see let's get this fixed just a bit so i have my strawberries i used about 10 to 12 strawberries so mash them up as good as i could i'm going to transfer this into a pan. okay so i've got the strawberries added to the pan i'm going to add the lemon juice I'm gonna add some sugar. Um, I'm just gonna have to eyeball it because. <laughs> okay, I think that's enough. <laughs> and then the salt, and it says just a pinch of salt. And then I'm just going to put it nicely together and then put it back on the stove top onto medium, medium heat. And we're going to let that come up to, I believe, a boil. Oh, it's... And then you want to stir it frequently. It comes up to a boil. And this will take about mm, 20 minutes. So I'm gonna let this come up to a boil and I'm gonna stir it frequently and then I'll be back when it's time to move on to the next step. So it's nice and bubbly boiling. Um, <clears throat> stirring frequently. Um, this can get pretty hot, so mommy and daddy will have to help you. We want to stir it probably about every single time it gets to nice up to a nice boil, and stir it, and then let it come up to a nice boil again and stir it. So we're just gonna keep on going with this till it's some jam. Okay, so it's starting to look jammy and thick, so we're gonna grab a spoon from the freezer. And then, ooh, I'm gonna just 
spoon part and we're gonna dribble a little bit on the back of the spoon and let it cool and then we'll run our fingers down the middle and see Okay, so I believe the jam is nicely done. It's kind of nice and thick, so I'm gonna transport it into a glass container and then I will show you that. Okay, so here's what the jam looks like. You're gonna wanna put it in a glass container and let it cool all the way down uh, to about room temperature before you stick it in the fridge. Um, yeah, so that's what it looks like. Thanks for joining me on making some jam. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it and I hope you guys get to try and make some of your own jam. Uh, let me know if you do and how it tasted and let me know what you tried it on. Anyways, I hope you guys have a great weekend. I miss you so much. I'll see you next week.